guys, Spooderman here, and before I start the video, I just wanted to say that, um, I am using a, um, well, I got a headset for Christmas, and I'm using a, the mic, um, I don't know if it sounds different for you, so, I just, I guess we'll just see, so, if you did see my, so, well, so, yeah, today I'm doing a update on, my model cars. If you did see my last model car video, I reviewed all of those cars up there. But today, I do have a bunch of more. I've been, like, just collecting to, so I can make this video. And I have at least uh, eight new cars today to show you. Um, two of the, some of these I got for Christmas, some of these are older ones. But I guess we'll just go start it there and end here. So, start on this side. Um, the first car is this car. Um, I don't know. I think this is actually a Morgan. Um, I don't know because it is a, it is from Italy. Um, it does not say the name on the bottom, but I think it is a Morgan. But the door is open like this. Like that. And... Sometimes I get stuck in there, but you have to... It's really cool. Um, it is a hood ornament. doesn't show. But I think it is a Morgan, so I'll put that in there. Um, the second one is this. Um, it is a Lamborghini Aventador. It's just a small car. You got it at a grocery store. Um, the doors do lift up like this. Like on the regular... Lamborghini Aventador. I feel like they go out really wide on this one. Like, way wider than usual, but I guess that's just what this completely does. Um, the next car is actually my dream car. Um, it is the Mercedes or Mercedes Benz SLS AMG. Um, like I said, this is my. Oh gosh. Uh, this piece is just annoying. Um, this is my dream car. Um, I got this for my birthday. Um, this piece is just a random piece that you can put under the trunk, but it always falls out when I open the trunk. So, let's go with the features. So, the doors open like this, because that is like one of my favorite features. Just red interior. The trunk does not open, but if you press a little button under the car, you yeah, have to put you down for a sec. There you go. The rear wing does pop up like this, and then you can just put it down. Um, also, the huge trunk lifts open. You actually have to kind of tilt it over a little, and then you can get it open. Close these. So here's the trunk, the um, engine, very big. Is If you didn't notice, the engine is actually behind the wheels. You can see right there. Um, this piece, you just put it up in there, and, but I don't keep it in there because it always just falls out when I open the trunk or the, the, um, the hood. Yeah, so the next car is actually one of my favorites I have. It is the brand new Lamborghini Centenario. This thing probably has the best look out of all my cars. Um, the front looks awesome. That's a huge rear diffuser right there. Um, the It is red. And let's get on with the features. So the first feature is up here in the trunk. It does open like this. And there's a thumbtack size trunk in there. Like, on the real car, you could probably only fit a single suitcase in there. Probably not even the size of a hat. Um, yeah, so the doors open like they do on the Aventador. Up like this. These actually open, like, closer to the car, unlike that one. Um, I really like this car. The look is very awesome. Um... These, you have, kind of have to lift, turn this thing over 
to get the hood open or the trunk. Um, there's the engine inside there, and also the rear wing does come up like this. Then you can put it down now, and then like that. Um, also, I do have a Lamborghini Huracan, but I don't have it with me right now. It is yellow. But the next car is actually another Lamborghini Aventador, like this. Um, on this one, the door is open, just like on the chin scenario in the small Aventador over there. Um, oh, also that Aventador over there has Italian flag racing stripes on it. Didn't mention that, but the door is open like this. It is yellow, and the tr hood opens like this. You can see the engine in there. And yeah, that's the bigger Aventador. Also, if you were wondering, um, this um, SLS AMG and the Centenario are from Maisto, that company. I don't know if you collect them or just don't even collect cars, I don't know. But they are from Maisto, if you are wondering. The next car, um, if you did see my last video, I did show that yellow car right there. Um, it did open the um, engine right here. But on this car, both sides of the engine lift up. If you have them both up at once, they kind of just fall down. You have to have one up or the other, like this. But, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, the doors open like the other one, but probably one of my favorite parts about this one is it has a rumble seat. If you don't know what a rumble seat is, they are illegal now, but they were used on older cars. Um, they were just like a, it was kind of like a trunk, but it was a seat you could just lift up like that. But yeah, that's just that car. The next car is actually weird. It is a Model T Bank. Oh, I forgot to tell the um, name of this car. This is a, um, what is it? Ford Model A. That is a Ford Model A convertible. Um, this is a Ford Model T delivery slash mail van. It actually says Dairy Queen on it. I didn't even know that. <laughs> That's weird. Um, this The doors don't open. The steering wheel doesn't turn. just rolls. But it has actually a bank. So this little slot right here, that is a coin slot. So you can put your moolah in there, or your money. <laughs> um, my last car is this. This is probably my favorite car out of all my model cars. This is the Fast and Furious 7 exclusive, like in Hypersport, um, by, made by W Motors. This thing is looks just awesome and it is has so many features so first thing is this front it opens like a corvette but there is no engine in there the engine is of course in the back not even trunk but that opens like so and then you can just put it down um i'll get to the doors last because those are the coolest part um the rear wing does not go up but the trunk lid goes up like this. Well, the engine lid goes up. It has, actually goes up pretty high. And acts like has like triangles on it and really cool stuff. Um, the engine is in there. These are like air ducts. I don't know. But the engine is inside there. Close that up. And the best part of this car, well, it does have this like V-shaped sunroof it's not it's like permanent you can close it but it's a sunroof there it actually lets a lot of light into the car i don't know if you can see that on camera kind of but it actually lets a lot of light into the car in real life um the best part about this car is the doors so if you've seen on a lot of it's like it's like a mix between a rolls royce dawn 
and the Lamborghini Centenario or the Aventador. So, the reason why I say this is because it opens backwards, like a Rolls Royce Dawn, but it goes up like a Lamborghini Centenario. It does this on both sides, why wouldn't it? But, just show you with all the stuff up. That's what it looks like. This looks all blown up. It's really cool. Put all the stuff back. Yeah, that is it. So, um, that is my update. I will have some more updates coming soon. Maybe in the next month or two. I don't know. But, yeah, um, I do have some stuff you should expect on my channel coming up. Um, I did get the Lego... Apollo Saturn V for Christmas, um, and that is actually like a f three feet, three foot tall Lego rocket ship, and it is like so cool. Like the first stage of detachment is at least a foot and a quarter tall. So expect a review on that. And also, I did get Star Wars Battlefront Two. For Christmas so I will be playing some gaming videos I'm probably I'm definitely going to be doing some co-op with Exploding Guardian and um, if you didn't know the new Star Wars Battlefront 2 comes with solo campaign mode so I probably may will make a series with Star Wars Battlefront 2 campaign mode all the way through maybe I don't know but yeah, um, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to this channel, leave a comment down below, leave a like, and turn notifications on so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Also subscribe to the Chompy Adventures channel, the Fantastic Five channel, the General Apple Juice channel, the BP0003 channel, the Mindland Gamer channel, the... Oh, I forget these throughout these videos. The Zachcraft channel, the Guardian the Exploding Guardian video channel. Um is there any more I'm forgetting? There's so many channels that I'm linked to. Uh, I feel like I'm missing some. Um I really don't know. Um Oh I feel like I'm forgetting like some some channel really important. I don't know, but subscribe to whatever channel I'm forgetting. Tell me in the comments down below if you know. Um, yeah, so I guess that is the end of this video. Um, leave a like and subscribe, so bye!